Hello everyone and welcome back. So today we're going to be trying to add a mirror to our scene and we're also going to add a bit of a roughness texture to this uh, glass that I found. Um, so for that reference, we're going to talk about that texture later, but for real quick I want to move this bathtub because I noticed it's a bit close to that shower that we made. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the bathtub and shift click on the uh, faucets that we added and we're just going to slide that down a bit. Um, it shouldn't be too drastic, especially from the view of the camera, but should make it a bit more realistic. So anyways, um, let's quickly add in that mirror I was talking about. So what we can do is quickly add an object right here on the wall. We're going to click on this 3D cursor right here and we're just going to click on the mirror. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Shift A and we're going to just add in a basic cube. We're going to go into edit mode and we're going to hit um, SZ to scale in the Z. And we're going to scale it a bit and then we're going to go to the side here. Um, and we're just going to turn on wireframe for this. Um, so we just want to line it up to the, uh, as close as we can to that table, or yeah, to the table. So I'm going to hit Alt A to deselect everything. And I'm going to hit C to bot or circle select, and I'm going to right click to turn it off. And we're just going to drag it up to this, um, to the wall. And uh, since this back isn't going to be showing, we can actually delete the vertices. So I'm going to make sure it's all the way through the wall. Um, yep. And see, and we're going to hit X, delete faces, so that's now gone, and we want um, this to be pulled back a bit more. So I'm going to go to face select, I'm going to click on this face, and we're just going to drag it back, make it nice and thin. I'm going to click on the faces on both sides of the mirror, and I'm going to hit S and then X, and we're going to scale it up a bit so it covers more area. And then I think it can be moved down a bit, so I'm going to hit A to select every, or no, I'm going to tab it of edit mode because we want to move it, and the whole object. I'm going to just click on the arrow to enable the arrows. I'm going to drag it down a bit. Um, and we're just going to drag it down somewhere that looks nice. Right about there should be fine. Um, so that looks good. Um, now all we have to do is add a material to make it super reflective. Um, and I also want a material on the side so it is a giant like mirror on every side. So I'm going to go to the Material tab here, I'm going to tab into Edit Mode, and we're going to add a new material, and we're going to call this Mirror. Okay, um, and for this one, I think what we can get away with is a super reflective surface, um, or maybe a metal surface, I'm not too sure. I think a metal surface would be more realistic um, in terms of what it'll, what it'll look like. So we're going to click on face select mode and we're going to select just this front face and we're going to hit assign um, and then we're going to add another texture and we're going to hit a new texture here and we're going to actually no we don't need another texture sorry we're going to reuse a texture um, so um, we're going to tab out of edit mode to delete this material material right here we're going to hit that button get rid of it and then we're going to click on this plus to add a new material here, but instead of hitting new, we're going to click on this uh, drop down and we're going to select um, metal to reuse this metal texture on the handles and stuff. So I'm going to tab in edit mode. I'm going to hit A to select everything and shift click to deselect the front face. I'm going to assign that to the metal texture. Okay. And then I'm going to hit tab to go back and I'm going to make sure I'm still in edit mode um, and we can start working on this. Um, mirror looking thing. So I'm going to shift into shading mode um, and I'm going to tab out of edit mode real quick and hit period to recenter on this. And we're going to hit textures to see what it looks like with textures on it. Um, so first we need to make it super reflective. So with our mirror um, option selected we're going to make it all the way metallic. And then what we're going to do is we're going to drag down um, roughness all the way. And you'll see now it's super reflective. Now I'm pretty sure that we're going to take a look real quick to see if it's just as reflective as a mirror. Yep, so you can see the window that is uh, popping up right there. So I don't know if you saw that, but you can see the window perfectly reflecting off the mirror. So that's good. Um, and the back and the edges were metal, I believe. Let's double check. Yeah, so it appears that the edges were metal, so that should be good. And we can always double check in the uh, when we uh, do an actual proper render. Um, anyways, let's um, now let's go back to layout mode. Um, now what we can do is we can add some realistic water stains to this uh, glass right here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Alt A to deselect everything. I'm going to select the mirror, um, the room, 
and the light, or the sun in this case. I'm going to hit Shift H to these to hide everything else. And I'm going to click on the mirror so we can work on that texture. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into shading mode. I'm going to hit period to focus in on this. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a new texture. Um, we're going to hit Shift A and we're going to go shader and then mix shader. So with this node right here, we can actually mix shaders together. Um, so we're going to make sure our normal uh, glass shader is plugged into one. And then I'm going to add in a texture, an image texture. So this is how you add in external textures. You'll notice this is similar to the um, material textures that we had Node Wrangler set up for us. It's the same thing except we have to do it manually this time. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit open to open up our, my file browser and we're going to go to textures and I found this thing called Schmear. So we're just going to select the Schmear texture. Um, I got it from this site called uh, SCCO Textures and this is a great website for free textures that look really good. You can see some like examples of it. So I think this will look good on our objects. So we're going to just select the roughness map because that's all we need and we're going to hit open image. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to just add a basic diffuse um, shader because that's all we need. Um, normally you could take this uh, smear texture and add it in to the roughness, but I just want to make sure that we do it um, a, a, a little bit differently so that this way we don't have to tweak with color ramps or anything. Um, so I'm going to add in a diffuse shader. Um, I'm just going to place it right here. And we're going to connect it to this mix shader here. And we'll try swapping it for now. We'll see how that works out. And we're going to make it pure white. And I'm going to take this smear texture. And since this isn't color data we're using, this color data is like what basic textures look like. You know, like uh, the tile, how we can see the blue on it and stuff. But in this case, it's just a roughness map. So we want to set it to non-color data. And we're going to take the color node and put it into factor. Um, so now let's look at how this looks like with the textures on. So you can see we have this super smeary texture, um, and we might have to met, mess with color ramps in this case. Let's see what happens if I do this. That looks a bit better. Um, yeah. So it turns out we actually needed the uh, nodes like this, so we're just going to move these around so it looks a little bit cleaner. So in this, what basically what's happening is we have the glass texture and then a white texture to simulate like water stains and stuff. And we're connecting it to a mixed node, which will um, take the factor of that smear texture, um, which looks like this, by the way. It just looks like this black and white mess. And what it will do is it'll um, make it look like the glass is a bit dirty. Um, but we don't want it to be that dirty. So what we're going to do is we're going to add in a thing called a color ramp. Um, which this thing's kind of voodoo, it's hard to explain how it works, but basically we can tweak with how black and white we want things to be on this. Um, so black is pure reflective, so it's super clear, and white is um, non-reflective. So you see if I take the white um, color right here, and if I slide it, you can see how it gets like basically not glass anymore if I take it all the way down. But if I take the black node and I slide it, you can see it, it shows a little bit less of that um, smearing effect. Um, so I'm going to leave it right around here. So there's a bit of smearing, but it's kind of hard to uh, kind of hard to tell. There's just like a very faint amount. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit plus to add a new one in between, and we're going to make it a bit darker. We're going to make it a bit darker. We're going to slide it um, up a bit. Maybe here. Maybe if we do this. I, I just want to get rid of those really hard surfaces. So actually we're going to get rid of this by selecting it and then hitting the minus. And I think we just have to change this white note on the end. So we're going to click on the white note and we're going to bring it down a bit so that um, you can see those really bright white spots aren't visible anymore. And if we drag this down, we can add a little bit more of that uh, like dirtiness to it. And this will look even better in the render. So let's see what this looks like real quick. Mm, it's kind of hard to tell. so. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, render render an image real quick and see what this looks like.
Okay, so that's our finished render, and you can see, even though it's still pretty pixelated because we didn't give it very long to bake, um, you can see some of those uh, smudges on the glass now, and you can also see we have a reflection in our mirror, um, and you can actually see there's our soap and stuff, we didn't hide that, but you can also see the faint reflection of the table and the bowl and stuff, if you can kind of see that in the mirror, so that's going to look even better when we let it bake a bit longer. Um, so yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Uh, I'm not 100% sure what I want to work on our next um, episode. Um, kind of looking here, we could add maybe that cloth I was talking about. Um, and we might actually, I think I'm going to work on the uh, walls and stuff because they look a little bland right now. Um, we should at least add a bit, uh, proper texture just to be sure that they're rendering as optimally as they can. But uh, yeah, I think that's good for this episode. Um, in the future, we're also going to be adding some better lighting instead of just a boring old sun because 360-degree um, pictures can add a lot to a scene, um, a lot of realistic lighting and such. Um, so yeah, that's it for this episode, um, and thanks for watching. Please leave down any comments if you had any thoughts or if I was going too fast or too slow. Um, I'm kind of picking up the pace with these later videos because you know I hope that you're kind of getting the shortcuts down by now. So. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, thanks for watching.